What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. For today's video, we're doing something a little bit different. We are going to be doing a reaction to something that was brought to us, to me and Sebastian, just a few days ago. We uh, met our new friend, new subscriber, Cheesy Calzone. We were playing a couple games with him and he mentioned, have you guys seen the Transit Remastered coming out? And we're like, Transit Remastered? Excuse me? Like, the Transit from Black Ops 2? No, we haven't seen it. Let me fucking see it. So he pulls up this video, and he's sharing a video, and no other than Verko, one of the uh, map creators that makes excellent maps, makes a ton of challenge maps, a bunch of different maps, he is actually working on a remastered version of Transit. Yes, Transit from Black Ops 2, the map that so many people hated, but so many people want a remake of it. Doesn't make sense. I'm excited. I want a remake of it just because it's Transit. I mean, it was kind of fun. I thought it was cool. I mean, it was annoying, but I thought it was cool. But wait till you see this. Wait till you see this remastered part that Verko is working on. So today's video, we're going to check this out. We're going to react to this um, together. And you're going to get my reaction at the end. He does do some talking here and there. And I'm going to link his YouTube down below so you guys can check it out for yourselves. Um, this is probably a couple months off, just saying. Um, he's remastering the whole map. So it's going to take a while. But what he's done so far is absolutely amazing. We're going to check it out. Just like a short six-minute video. It's about two months old. Um, he's working on other projects as well, so when this comes out, who knows, but we're gonna check it out right now We're gonna take a look at it and all I'm saying guys is you better be buckled up and prepared for this because this shit is going to be Amazing so like always guys if you enjoy the video make sure you hit the like button Make sure you leave a comment and make sure you subscribe to see more content more custom zombies and in the future We'll be playing this transit map. You better bet your goddamn asses. We're playing it So let's go ahead guys. Let's dive right into this video and check it out all right, guys, we're about to hop right into this and check out the Transit remastered that Verko is currently working on. This video came out in May of 2021. I've only seen very little bits and pieces of it. I've not seen the whole video, so a lot of this is going to be a surprise to me and going to be new to me. Make sure you guys watch the whole video because this is going to be absolutely insane. As you can see right here from the beginning, it's already different. Um, this is just Transit itself, the bus depot, so he's showing that part off right now. This is going to give you an idea of what, what this map's going to look like and how beautiful this map's going to be. So let's go ahead and start this up and hop right into it. Hey everyone, Verka here. Thought I would just give a quick update on the current progress of Return to Transit, my monolithic project of remaking the entirety of Transit for Black Ops 3. I'm going to be doing updates like this every single month and it'll probably be based off per section. So for this video, I'm going to be showing off Bus Depot and my progress with that at the moment. So as you can see out here, I've built the highway section, which leads into the tunnel. I already have to note, this is, look how beautiful this looks. This is Black Ops 3. Like, look how beautiful this, this is insane. This is insane. Right here. And of course, flooded it all so that you slow down when you're walking this way without the bus. That way, it's not just a free train spot across the entire level. Since I'm going to be using water instead of lava, fog, and denizens to separate <laughs> the main points of interest in the level. As this does take place before the nukes hit transit, but only a few hours, which means- Okay, so right there, very important to note, the reason there's no lava and the reason it doesn't look like an apocalypse is happening is because he made this pre-nuke. So if you're familiar with the map Moon, you send a rocket to the Earth and it blows the Earth up. Transit, you're playing, when you play transit, that's after the moon hits the earth, or excuse me, after the rocket hits the earth and blows it up. So Verko made this map, designed this map, so it was before the nuke um, hits transit. And he said right there, I just heard him, he said, but only a few minutes before. So I'm wondering if he's going to change the Easter egg up and something's going to change. I don't know, we'll see means in the map in a few hours once it's night the nukes come down from moon and destroy this place the fuck to so moving on this way to the okay you said it right there once it hits dark it destroys this place the fuck and it cut out all right i'm loving this all right let's check right it out guys let's keep watching bus depot we have the bunker the bunker you actually be able to access bunkers at every single point of interest and they will each feature one of these tally pads these will be buildables like Alpha Omega, where you will place two of them to teleport between. So you can choose where in the level you want to teleport, and they will oh, just that's take awesome. you to the other location. That's awesome. There'll be one of these in every single bunker at every single location. Going inside the main building here where you will spawn. This will be the spawn location for transit, by the way. 
I've been mainly redoing a lot of the geometry here, especially with the trims here, making them chrome texture. As you can see, this is the old one. Just looks so good. This is the new looks one I've been so doing good. To kind of like match the new aesthetic, especially with the Cold War perk machines being all shiny and shit. And mostly been doing a lot of lighting work, as you can see here, with the chaos and. So I believe he is using the Cold War engine. That's why everything looks a little better, looks a little more smooth. In this section here. We have a Cold War gun here, the DMR. Chance is going to have weapons from Cold War and the Modern Warfare 2019. And if COD 2021 provides any new weaponry, if it's a COD game, then that will also be included as as it's the new animation style since Modern Warfare 2019. And they all fit very nicely together, in my opinion. Like it. Here we have a Gobble Gum machine. Gobble Gum speed in runs. This version will work differently to how PE3 normally does it. So you won't be able to choose a kit of gobble gums before you join the match. It's just oh. going to be a random pool of gobble gums. It'll include every classic one and most of the megas, but it won't have shit like Perkaholic, uh, ah, Shopping okay. Free. Okay. The really overpowered ones won't be in the gobble gum. Instead, like you could get those through doing challenges, trials, and other Easter egg steps. Mm. This is great to me because I actually like the idea of gobble gums. I just hate how they're executed with how overpowered and easy they make the game to the point where you might as well just type slash god and have the same effect. I agree. Except I agree 100%. Money. Another thing I've been doing is digitizing the posters. So this was a old poster which has been upscaled and I've turned it into like a advertisement of like sorts. Like the detail. This is, what, this is what I'm talking about, guys. The detail. Like he's making the posters more detailed. That's how you know, like... Guys, this map's gonna be fucking insane. Power. As you can see, we've got Ride the Bus, very nice poster there. And uh, and over here we have one for Ostlike, which was the sequel to 47 Berkeley Lane that no longer is, because I've actually cancelled everything to do with that map, as I've deleted the old models now, and I'm solely focused on Transit and Daras. So this is for you guys. And on here we have a bunch of names at the bottom and at the- Did he say Daras? So he's also remastering Dairas. Interesting. Okay. The top. These are my supporters on Patreon. If you want to get your name on one of these, or name a Pekka Punch weapon, or have your name on graffiti around the level as well, and get early access to development updates like this one, head over to the link in the description or the pinned comment and become a Patreon there. And that way you'll be supporting the development of Transit and Dairas. So before I end the video, I want to go over the Vista work I did. Now Vista is basically the outside of the map area slash the background. So this isn't playable, this is just what you can see from Bus Depot. And in the original transit, th this isn't even here. They just have like a flat area, well it's not that flat, but like it's pretty low detail and there's just like a random shed there and that's it for Bus Depot. That doesn't really scream a Bus Depot to me. So I've added a Bus Depot that's old and rotten and these are actually the original bus models from Black Ops 2 here that are running away in this garden. There's a bus at garden. And to the left we have the highway that spans off into the supposed bus route B. And behind us we have the mechanic shop and the, I'm not quite too sure what this building is meant to be, but I'm just gonna make it a residential property that owns this one. So the guy that owns this building also owns this one and lives here. And this will be the parking lot in between them. I will make it so that you can go inside these buildings and loop around here through the parking lot at the front. So, Bus Depot will be expanded this way, and down into the bunker of course, as well as over here as well. Now, should I release, when this is done, Bus Depot as its own survival map, just on its own? And should I release every area on its own, as they're completed? Leave a like and let me know in the comments below. Now, to end this video, I'm going to leave you some cinematics and some progress shots of the map. Okay, just real quick, I don't know, I'm kind of torn. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um. Should he release these piece by piece? I almost want to say he should not. I almost think he should just make the whole map and release it all at one time so that we're all pleasantly surprised. Because then it'll be a way better experience, I feel like. But I don't know, because I would love to play it ahead of time. So down in the comments, guys, let, let, uh, let me know what you guys think. And then also, like I said, I'm going to link this video and his channel. Go on the video and let him know what you guys think. I mean, I don't know, honestly. That's a, that's a tough one. I'll see you all in the next update video, or if you Patreon, directly the day after. And thank you so much for watching.
Alright guys, I don't know about you, but this shit looks amazing. And I know it's only the beginning stages, he's gotta still do the whole map, but the fact that, one, he's changed the atmosphere, so it's no longer post-nuke, it's pre-nuke, which is sick. I'm wondering if he meant that, like, during your playtime, it's gonna get nuked, and everything's gonna change. I don't know, we'll see. But, just from the beginning, he included a bunker, which you can do different teleporters, and teleport to certain areas that you want to go to. You can, um... He expanded the bus depot. There's more area. Change up the gobble gum system. This this Verco, I praise you, my guy, because this is gonna be absolutely insane. This is this might be top map when this comes out. I mean, nightmare was good. <laughs> this this might damn well be better. And I know it's transit, but I have a feeling you have some good ideas for the Easter egg. I I don't think I mean. I don't know if you're going to use the same easter egg, if you're going to change it up, or if you're going to do a completely different easter egg. I don't know, but all I know is you make some damn good maps, and by the looks of this, I think you understand what you're doing, and you got a great plan ahead of you. So, I'm so excited to play this map. Make sure you guys stay tuned, make sure you guys subscribe, and have those post notifications on. This map is going to be awesome, and I know it's pretty far off, it's probably going to not come out for quite a while still. But when this map comes out, you can bet your asses we're going to have a video up. The day it comes out, and it's going to be awesome. It's going to be a fucking banger. I can promise you guys that. Um, so, as always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up and a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this, if you think this is a sick-ass idea. As we heard, Verker's also working on Die Rise, which is going to be sick as well. So, maybe I'll do a reaction to that if he has any videos of that up. Um, make sure you guys check out Verko's channel. Hit him with a subscribe. And check out his videos. Stay up to date with this Transit Remaster because... Like I said, guys, this is going to be fucking crazy. So, as always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up, leave a comment. And if you enjoy the content, you want to see more reactions, you want to see more custom zombies, you like watching zombies, anything zombies, that's us here. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, join our journey to 500 subscribers. And as always, guys, have a great rest of your day.